I'm what's called a medical oncologist, so I'm a chemotherapy cancer drugs doctor. And what we're trying to do is to fit the right key into the right lock, get the right drugs to the right patient. I've been a cancer doctor for 40 years, and when I first started, all we had were a handful of chemotherapy drugs, very potent cytotoxics. But the worry about any cancer medicine are the burden of side effects and toxicity, which can be genuinely life-threatening. Now, by understanding biology, we can individualise treatment. So we can use markers, what we call biomarkers, that suggest A, how the cancer will behave, and B, what drugs might be most effective quite a revolution in what we call precision cancer medicine. Rather than having a highly trained pathologist staring for hours down a microscope lens at the tumour and trying to predict how it will behave, what we can do now is to take a digital image of that tumour tissue and using artificial intelligence train it to identify patients who will have an aggressive nasty tumour or patients who will respond to a particular class of drugs and as a doctor, I can respond with more intense treatment or less treatment. The collaboration that we have with CSI allows us to engage with the enormous computing power that we require to do this. This requires terabytes of data. CSI have been working with thousands of customers over the last 40 years, helping them to enable digital transformation and overcome their business challenges. We're their chosen technology partner, and it is a partnership with an extension of their IT department we understand the business and what they're trying to achieve. The information that AI is now able to produce needs fast compute power to reside on and to, to do all of that processing. So we align IBM's technology and IBM's power to run multiple workloads using high-performance compute GPUs, which will enable Oxford Cancer Biomarkers to get the reduction in their results from weeks down to days. We have a biobank of around 4,000 patients, and in those patients we know if they've been cured by surgery or if the cancer came back. The mathematics underpinning this requires rapid access to big computing. So in the old days, waiting for pathology to come through, special staining could take a couple of weeks with access to the right level of computing support. We could turn this around within a couple of hours. The ability to sit down with a patient and have a more defined and clearer path to a successful treatment it's phenomenal and IBM's technology enables that. And for a small company like Oxford Cancer Biomarkers, collaboration with CSI is essential. The cost of chemotherapy is real, but of course there's a financial cost and what we have shown with several of our tests, we can reduce the financial burden on the NHS. To be able to actually make a difference to people's lives is incredible and I think it's a, a wonderful place to, to be and it's a great partnership that we have. What this means for patients is better, more precise treatment, more information, a more confident interaction between doctor and patient, and being able to plot a better pathway ahead.